Hi all, hope you are doing fine. Uh, this video is again a special video. It's more like answers to the most asked questions. And this is also my thank you to all you all because now I reached 1000 subscribers. So I hope you enjoy my contents. And I want to get first into Windows on ARM. Here you can see my POCO F1. F1. <laughs> And uh, in every Windows ARM test, I always get the same questions. So uh, let's turn it on. Here it is. It boots directly to Windows, so there's no Android on it. So here it is. Let's finish the booting up. And uh, the first thing you will notice is that the touch screen is not working. And But there's a workaround for it, but it's not for all POCO uh, F1 because this phone has two different display and touch hardware. And you can follow the discussion in GitHub. And that's right here. I will show you in the browser. Uh, I didn't try it by myself because I don't want to mess anything right now. Because if you are test, if you are testing games, then you will need a keyboard, mouse, or a gamepad anyway. So it's not a big deal for me. Uh, so let's connect it to a keyboard and a mouse first. So I will a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard. Let's see. Keyboard is working. Ah, mouse is connected to my notebook. That's wrong. I will disconnect it first. So here it is, mouse. I will put it here at first so you can see it better. And now you can we can navigate like a PC. Your system data is a Snapdragon 845. And um, the first question I want to begin with is, um, and I always got it from you is. Can we still call a message on this phone? And the answer is no. And if you install Windows only, then you can only use it like a PC. So no phone, no calls, no messaging. But uh, you have the possibility to, uh, to install dual boot, so you can use Android and Windows. And I didn't do um, dual boot because in November 2021, there was no tutorial for uh, this POCO F1 and I wanted to use the complete uh, storage uh, because this device has 128 gigabytes of storage so because many games like GTA 4 needs up to 30 gigabytes so you have to keep that in mind. The second question I always got from you is uh, how you got the sound working um, as you don't know or know, the speakers of the phone is not working too. So touch and speakers are not working native. You can see it here too. It has no speakers on it. You can't activate it because there, is, uh, there isn't one. And it's uh, simple as that. You just connect uh, to a Bluetooth speaker like that. You can put it on and voila, you have sound. I'll turn it louder. 
and uh, some games uh, also need speakers to launch because uh, some games will give an error if no sound card is recognized so um, that's it you can use a bluetooth headset or a bluetooth speaker and you can have sound uh, in nearly all my games tests i used the native resolution in 1080p so it's for some games it's too high and everyone said so hey if you lower that resolution to 720p or 540p it would run much faster i know but uh, there's a problem every game that is running in full screen uh, is forced to use the native resolution you can't change it like uh, no more normal PC so some games allow to use the windowed mode and let you change to a lower resolution but it's not always working and I show you why exactly it is and how it uh, yeah I, I also already have set it to full screen So let's get to the options. So video, and you can see I can't change the resolution. It's fixed. Um, and even then, if some games allowed it, it will jump uh, back to the native resolution or the game will crash. And that's why you need to set it to windowed mode but some games don't allow windowed mode like this so let's quit and the uh, workaround which uh, works most is to, to edit the config file not every game has it but uh, metro has it if you open it in notepad you will see uh this path well, where I just did there. there's the resolution and there you can set full screen on or off so if you set another resolution you will have to get another one so let's try 720p saved it and started again and now you have a low resolution it's not full screen anymore but with screen recording you can record your footage to a, to a one video And that's how you get done with low resolution. Um, sometimes you need to use a tool which is a DNY uh, wind tool. Let me show you. So this game is done. And this one, it forces the games to windowed mode and but I didn't have any luck with uh, many games. Um, some games will crash or give an error, but in some games it will give you the option to get a full screen with a low, lower resolution. The fourth question from you is, um, does the phone get very hot? Um, yes. In some games it gets very, very hot. It's so hot you can't or, or you don't want to even touch the display because it's like burning your finger but it's not but it's 
more than 40 degrees but uh, and in some um, lower games 2d games the um, the temperature is much like it's very warm if you play like call of duty mobile on the phone and on android it's like that and but uh, it's better you use the a phone cooler but um, my test uh, time is about 20 minutes up to 30 minutes so it's not a big deal for me and um, for longer periods I would recommend a phone cooler I don't know um, it will uh, if it will damage the phone or not but uh, I will I will let the uh, phone cool after the test um, another famous question from you is that does it work with Snapdragon 870 or higher or 8 Gen 1? Unfortunately not. It uh, does only work with some devices of uh, Snapdragon 845. Um, you can uh, look at the website uh, from Renegade Project and there's a device status list with supported devices so far iron odin pro works with windows arm best um, it works with speaker it has uh, with um, native resolution and with eight gigabytes or more ram um, games like hardest will even run on this so uh, you can check that out and um, Look if your device is capable of. And finally, um, what question from you too is, uh, you always ask, how can I install it on my phone? And it's not that easy for beginners. You have to know to unlock your bootloader. Then you need to know how to flash something to your phone because you have to delete via command the complete partitions, create a new one for Windows, and then that takes a, a lot of time, especially if you, if something doesn't work as expected or like in other videos, it might look easy for others. But believe me, if something is not working like in a tutorial, that is really, really bad to fix by, by yourself. So finally, I'm coming to an end of the topic windows on arm and i want to show you how bad windows on arm can be for this phone so at first i already said no phone fe no phone features no touch no native speakers working and there are a few other things which can be really annoying you can you can't charge this phone if this phone is shut off so it's really really this bad so let me show you Phone is turning off. And let it charge now with a power bank. And that's the first problem. If your charger does not have um, 3 amperes, uh, some charger won't charge at all. And you see with this power bank, it will turn, turn the phone on again. Mm, you may say it's not a problem, but it is a problem because quick charge is not working in Windows. So it charges really, really slow. So about about three or four hours, if your device is really low on power, then you have to leave the phone on and char let it charging. So, and what about the battery life? So if you test really hardcore, <laughs> heavy 3D games, so 
the phone is empty in about three, no, two or three hours. It's not that much and uh, you can charge and play at the same time. And but the phone still discharges very slowly if if you test really um, a heavy 3D game. And sometimes if the phone has low battery, about 10%, then the phone begins, the display begins to dim and you can't do anything about it. It will underclock and although I deactivated in energy safe management, you have to restart the phone again to get rid of. You can see it in my test like Devil May Cry with low FPS versus the full battery FPS or um, I recorded it is in my test with Pro Evolution Soccer 2016. Um, screen began to dim and I didn't see, almost saw nothing. So um, you have to, it's really annoying if you have to restart the device. Then second, if you use an USB hub, uh, because some games uh, does work only on external devices, uh, storages, or if you don't have enough storage for the games, you want to use external storage. But with an USB hub and then plug in a charger, it won't charge anything. There's one YouTuber, Dennis, which uh, demonstrate in another USB hub, which may special, I guess, has this uh, charge feature, which is nice. But um, I don't think if you wanna use it that because it's, it get will get very, very loose easily and uh, your external storage will disconnect immediately. Then there are some game suggestions from you which requires almost a high end PC or even like a PS4 hardware. And again, Windows 11 on ARM does support 64 bit, but it's very, very slow. You can see it in my GTA 5 test. There's almost zero to one FPS. And um, Molan plates two, uh, which also tests much more Windows ARM games, uh, tested Hollow Knights on 64-bit while I tested uh, mine with 32-bit and you can see the difference. It's much, much slower on 64-bit, even with 2D games. So don't expect to run modern games on it. It's not a high-end PC, so keep in mind. And at least uh, would I recommend a phone just for Windows on ARM? My answer is definitely no. Better you get a Steam Deck or an Odin Pro which has full support for it and many games will cause problems for you. You always need to fix something or it runs too slow and 6GB of RAM is also very small. So if you still insist to have a phone with Windows, then you better get a OnePlus 6T instead of Poco F1 because touch is working there and the 10 gigabyte ram model is also supported so i suggest you to visit the channel of more play 2 he almost tests 300 games on windows and um, i am testing games mainly on Exegear. so hope you still enjoy my contents and uh, i could cover all your questions on windows arm and if you have further questions so please comment thank you